All right, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to put together a Wolverine and Deadpool mask. All followers are provided by me because I bought them, but they were made by Yosh Studios. Um, I'm going to cosplay putting Magnix into these masks because I can't get Magnix shipped to me anymore, which sucks uh, because Amazon is doesn't ship Magnix to Korea anymore. All the, these are raw 3D printed and by uh, in LLU PLA on uh, Neptune 3 Plus printers. Um, sorry, I'm just remember, trying to remember my 3D printers because I have a few. And I haven't done anything except for remove the sports. Heck, I haven't even tried to, it's kind of hard to see in this one. Maybe the red is a little bit easier. Um, you know, the, this, there's a little bit of ugliness because I don't ever put anything in the center of these uh, prints. I haven't even tried to remove that ugliness there. So I haven't done anything to these prints and they look beautiful, as you can see. In 4K, 60 frames a second. So, I guess we'll start here. When you're um, trying to figure out what your sizes of your um, magnets are, it's never going to be the same. <clears throat> when you're going to be scaling your uh, helmets, try to scale your helmets uniformly, aka um, you scale it uh, uniformly in every single direction because then your uh, magnets, holes, will be actual circles, right? So you have to kind of just go into your little magnet selection and see which one fits. Now I totally know these won't, these are too small, right? And I'm pretty sure these are too big. I feel like, um, what was that poem for the bears and the porridges? Ah, man, it's been like forever since I've read any that stuff as a kid. Ugh. Well, anyways, uh, I feel like that uh, poem about being a little thief, eating poem, eating food from strangers. Okay, don't do that. People might shoot you. Okay, so this one will fit perfectly. I literally have one in there. So what you would want to do, if you have one man, well, if you had your man that's like that, you would have your magnet go in here and you would want to have them all uniform, right? So you would put your super glue or hot glue in there and press it in and then do it. Press it in like that and push. Let me get it close to the camera. And push it in and down, right? Like that. There's another method, which it makes it a little bit easier, but it makes it a little bit harder to do it on camera. So you put one magnet behind here, and when you push, this magnet holds that other magnet into place. See? That's how, whenever I put magnets in, that's how I usually do it. <clears throat> you do it however you feel comfortable, but putting in magnets is not always necessary, especially for like this. I don't think it's, for this part, I don't feel it's necessary. For this part, I definitely think it might actually become necessary. But let's go beyond this magnet stuff because we're not actually gonna be doing any of that nonsense. Put next to the Batman helmet. <clears throat> now we're going to get our trusty gloop, not sponsored because uh, I'm a small YouTuber. Now it's always a good idea to try to keep your workplace kind of clutter free, but the workplace is kind of small and it kind of sucks. Also, but a big thing to do. Ha ha ha, 
Got you, Dick. I'll put you on the ground. Since you want to be there anyways. Is your dry fit your uh, when you're about to glue something to see where it wants to sit? All right. All right. So I have an idea where I want to put my glue. So I'm going to just put it on this part here because if I put it here, I might put it on somewhere where it might be visible. And that would suck. But if I put it here, I know where it won't be visible. And I'm feeling less will be more in this case. Because I'm not going to be sanding this. And it's going to be a one-time kind of deal. So I'm going to be putting in some key points. And try not to die. Remember, this stuff works really fast, so you, I put it in wrong places because I'm not good at this. <laughs> if I was uh, one of those uh, YouTubers that tried to look like the most bestest cafe, um, cosplayer ever, I would totally edit that mistake out, but I'd rather show, hey, we all make mistakes. You see my Miss Franks? Got plenty of those. Now, now we wait. I hope it works. Oh shoot, this is a very seven minute video. That's horrible. I know you guys are not gonna be watching a lot of this. <sighs> Cool, maybe that's that, no. Now this is where I wish I was a good editor. All right, I think it's actually, so now I'm gonna apply uh, the nose onto the helmet. I think we're going to put it onto the sides because I don't know if this actually fits really well. Uh, I already got some of this on my fingers. I'm not happy about that. One second. All right. So I guess I'm going to have three group on my fingers and. I should be wearing gloves with this stuff, but getting gloves is, turns out it's a pain in the butt to do in Korea. So please use gloves. Mm. So one of the things I did on accident when I'm making this helmet, or pulling off the sports, was I accidentally ripped off these sides of the magnets for this. Which sucks because um now I gotta figure out okay so how does this thing go on? Well I don't think it goes that way. Well, I think it goes this way. Now it's gonna be super flimsy. Flim flimsy. Now I'm just debating should I just cut this off and tell whoever I give this to for free? And I just put it on your head like this. Boop. My I. 3D printed this more for a child's head or someone with a very small head. So I actually might just keep it as it is. But if you, like I was saying, this is more definitely a magnet thing if you have both of them to help secure it. Now look how good that looks. Elgu um, Black just looks superb. It's just one of the cleanest 3D prints. Like you can see the lines, sure, but it's far superior to anything else I've been printing with. 
and this yellow is really really nice too so we're going to put this one on the floor because it, these prints do seem to want to be on the floor for some reason and get to mr deadpool this one i think might fit a person an adult now that actually makes more sense because Wolverine in the comic books is only five foot five. Well, Deadpool, I think it's like six foot. I know in a freaking um, movie, uh, they got Wolverine the same size as Deadpool. And the actor, I'm not going to hate. Um, the actor that plays Wolverine, in my heart, is not Wolverine. He does a really good job. He has an attitude of Wolverine. He has a look. Um, I just wish he was the size. It, it sucks for, as a shorter uh, person, that our superhero was taken away from us. We, we don't have too many of those. So, once again, this model comes with a whole bunch of eyes, which are really good. Like, you have one that has, like, a little heart... And then squinky eyes and little funny looking things. You could offset both of them and you could like do whatever, make it goofy. But I'm just going for the traditional one. Now for this, I'm not going to glue it on. I'm going to put um, hot glue, put the lasket on there. So um, whoever I give this to, they could just easily just put it on and off without any issues. By the way, I always give away my stuff for free to random people. And I'll just be hanging out near the um, movie fair because I have a birthday party to go on to on Friday. So I can't see the movie, huh? But well, I'm pretty sure it's sold out. Once again, I really hope it's good. Oh, um, on my K1 Max, I'm going to be 3D printing a, what is it, T, uh, T800 skeleton from the Terminator. The plan is to have the eyes move and the neck move too. Well, I really would like have it motion like it could be able to look at people. Now this stuff takes 24 hours to cure and it's like uber toxic so I'm not going to be putting it on my face because I want even though uh yeah um don't want to I, yeah there's all kinds of things going on in my life but I don't want to go blind. That'd be silly. I don't need to be adding to that. But let's see these two. I'll check that out too. Don't be adding to my misery by going blind. That'd be silly. Oh, come on, big boy. You can fit on it. I would be super sad if this can't fit on there. I'd be so sad. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was going to be, oh my god, it doesn't fit. But check that out. Deadpool. Now, if you, these are Lost Studios, and I do see these um, sell for very well on Essie. And what I've been told, uh, because I just ran the Essie owners, they usually sell uh, do two walls for 10% infill, which I don't do. I always do three to four walls for my 3D prints because I want my my stuff to be durable and 10% um, infill. And they sell them for pretty hefty prices. So you can make a good um, killing for selling these bad boys. Mm. Especially if you were selling these outside the movie fair this weekend. <laughs> You, you have so many people that would want one of these. So, let me all put the 
next to one another. The hype boys. Ah, they're so cute. So, thank you for watching to the end. Um, you are the true champions of this channel. Um, it means a lot to me. And thank you for watching. 3D Gloop is now a sponsor. Um, but it would be cool if they were. And thanks. You have a great weekend. If you watched the movie, please uh, tell me how it was. And you guys have a great one. Bye.